hi guys i'm shanshari welcome or welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to share my thoughts on some you know really hyped up skincare products and like are they really worth the hype or they are just naam pe hi chal raha hai kind of product you know actually koi bhi product naam pe nahi chalta hai agar usme dam nahi hai to so and first of all i want to uh, like i want to let you know that every product works if it is not working for me it can work for you if it is not work for you it can work for me and if it is not working for both of us it can work for someone else so every product works so so without any further ado let's get jump into the video okay, so the first product is cetaphil gentle clean skin cleanser i'm sorry uh, so this is quite a hyped up product right so i tried it last winter and you know during winter like my um, area around my mouth and nose gets really flaky like i have super oily skin in uh, summer and during winter it gets super dry i just like it like it flakes everywhere you know like around my mouth and nose it the skin become flaky and it create a severe pigmentations over there over those dark patches and last winter i also got them on my uh, like uh, here around my eyes and all so i have tried every product you know i have tried every moisture many moisturizer not every moisturizer many moisturizer and uh, things to settle those things but nothing did anything you know i used to apply a thick layer of vaseline over there but this also worked for like you know few hours like it was not uh, uh, you know like solving the problem but this came like a savior to my life like from the first use i like felt the difference like you can really feel the hydration on your face on those dry patches if you have okay so if you have such dry flaky skin you can definitely try it out and i also have very sensitive skin so it was really helpful for me i can't do without it like it's going to my it's it is a constant in my skincare routine okay so by the way i don't use it on and right now on summer time but here during winter i will get back to this product so the next product is this simple face wash this uh, simple face wash so this is also a quite hyped up product and due to the hype like i have a tendency that you know i avoid hyped product like i don't buy those product like when it is on the top of high it's hype like every people is talking about it and all i can't really believe on the product then so yeah i tried it late very late i am very late in case of trying out this product like during summer i was not like you know i don't need that hydration so i was uh, thinking of changing the face wash so i uh, thought that i will try the oily skin cleanser from cetaphil but then i thought why not to try this one out the like this is affordable than this one and so why not to try uh, this one out and oh my god it's like literally over the hype you know like it's also hydrating quite good for sensitive skin it doesn't like strip off your uh, skin and it also last for quite a long period of time like i am using it like in my home i only i use this face wash like i am using the fast bottle since may and and it is continuing and i use this for 2 to 3 time per day and it last quite like you need p size amount and it will do anything and everything for you like it will uh, cleanse your makeup and all like it's it's quite amazing product this like i would recommend it 100% recommend it like both of these face washes are quite good like they over the hype you know at least for me so next is this ordinary glycolic acid serum so yes uh, sorry it's not serum it's toning solution glycolic acid 7% toning solution so as you can see i have used it quite a lot now 
it's i don't use it on my face and uh, the purpose of the purpose of purchasing this product for me at least it was not to apply on my face it was um, the purpose was obviously apply it on my body you know the strapless bras which have silicone in it to provide you a better support like those things created a lot of pigmentations like in those areas not in those areas but in uh, i can't show you actually so yeah on those lining areas so and it was severe pigmentation like you know and it 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 is even uh, now uh, even now it is there but it this product helped me a lot to reduce the pigmentation so yeah for body pigmentation it is a quite good product but yeah for face i would not recommend this especially uh, for brown, brown skin girl as i as much as i know glycolic acid can do like can harm our skin okay other aha like alpha hydroxy acids like uh, lactic acid and kojic acid you can try but in in case you are applying glycolic acid on a brown skin you need to be very very careful so i would not recommend it for a uh, face but for body it's quite good and no you can also use it for strawberry legs it may help you out so for body uh, use uh, for the usage on your body it is good but not for your face so the next come this plum niacinamide serum like we used to love each other a lot but then we broke up so this is maybe the most loved serum from plum right this is plum 10% niacinamide serum i have i used to love this one like this was my first ever serum like as a whole this was my first serum um now uh, it did everything for my skin like it was uh, really helpful to reduce the pores uh, pigmentations like it overall it helped me to get even skin tone okay and it was glowing like my skin used to glow with the serum like after using it one or one and half of year like i have used several bottles of it okay like suddenly my skin uh, get very sensitive and like, suddenly my skin turns out to be very sensitive you know like i used to get red spot here and there every day like it, like the problem of itchiness on my face increased and every day i used to like uh, like i used to itch my uh, face like no one's business like you know and i used to get red spot over here and there i will add a photo if like if i have any and it's not like i don't get them right now i get them uh, whenever i am going out I, there is if there is pollution after coming back home i got those allergies not allergy it's it's like you know it my skin is so sensitive so like if i each even it gets red so so yes uh, like uh, but uh, but during the time it was it was extreme like you know uh, then i started using a lot of product like i uh, involved like i included sika uh, in my skincare ceramides and then i stopped using retinol i was using minimalist retinol i stopped using this i i changed every product i was using i accept this one because i was to blindly believe this product because it did a lot for my skin but then one day i thought that i'm changing everything then why i am not stop using this one and one day i stopped using i just don't, didn't apply it I, i however i only apply serum in night time not in day time so one day i uh, stopped uh, i didn't apply it and you won't believe next day the like the, the itchiness was very much reduced you know and then i was just like oh my god what like you know since then like it was a really hard time for me to leave this product and during the time also this was not the product i still have like this much of product in uh, this bottle but during the time i was not using this bottle this bottle was there as a backup like i used to love this serum so so much you know so then uh, i just uh, however i just stop using it and now i use it sometimes on my under arms and you know sometimes on my body i don't know like 
you know so i have uh, stopped using it and uh, so so yeah after that i tried uh, to apply it once on my face but you know after applying it within you know, a few minutes my uh, area around my cheeks here and here it's get red and i got those bumps so i just uh, uh, wash my face with water and since then i never ever try even try to apply this one so yeah i just i don't get me wrong i love plum i have many product from them like their green tea toner it's my go to like no a uh, lot of you guys will uh, like disagree with me like, it's of it can, it will obviously do wonder for your skin and it did for me also but it in long run it sensitize my skin so yeah so yeah here we can learn a thing that a product that is work for working for you right now cannot work for you tomorrow okay so yeah this was the sad story with this product now comes one of the expensive product you know this is cosrx advanced snail 96 mousing power essence which is quite costly product and it this one is i am also using it uh, like you know uh, from may like every alternative day but you know this much i have only done with this much product like it, uh, money you pay for this like it's a huge bottle so it will it will not finish up quickly so it will stay like it uh, like it will take at least three four months to be finished up so yeah uh, so so i am just justifying the quantity and pricing you know but yeah in terms of working it's hydrate your skin like a lot it's it's quite a hydrating product you know so yeah i love it i use it every alternative days uh, at night obviously my day skincare routine is kind of dead you know it's only consist of uh, sunscreen moisturizer and face wash and if i am home I don't even apply these things so uh, it's hydrated your skin and it, it it will give you a very nice glow like you know I have seen that glow uh, in on my face on next day or next morning so yeah I like this product a lot so it's it uh, for me it does help help like it me it is over the high for me personally okay so yeah if you want to try it you can try it and it will also help you with anti-aging and also yes if you have uh, a dehydrated dull skin or you have some issues of fine then you can uh, start with uh, you can give this product a shot i love it okay so yes this is the part one of this video like it will be too long if i add a i have total of 11 product if we if i add uh, all the 11 in this video it will be too long so i am going to cut this video here this is a part one of five tap product and in my next video i will share another six product with you guys yes that's it for this video bye see you on my next video